Hey guys, my name is Justin. My name is Chris. And we're going to be talking today about going over the top, what to feel, how to address it, how to identify it, and fix those problems on the spot. We're going to show you what that looks like for first. I know a lot of people probably see their own swing videos and think, wow, that doesn't look correctly. It doesn't look like Rory, right? So typically when people go over the top, they'll be really wristy out, off, uh, right out of the gate. So their shoulders won't begin the turn. It'll actually just be their arms. Typically over the toppers are very upper body dominant. So their arms will kind of control the swing throughout. So for example, without the ball there, Chris, kind of give a couple examples of that takeaway that starts really wristy. Start really wristy. Really wristy. So kinda shoulders, like exactly. So shoulders aren't really turning for one. Kind of like that. Take that back a little bit slower. Number two, that club will start wide open. So if you start with a wristy swing, roll your hands over. This club is kind of doomed from the beginning. So what we want to see more is a, a complete shoulder turn. Perfect. Much better. So the shoulders will turn. The arms are kind of the last part of the equation here. Perfect. Now, another thing we'll see if somebody's an over the topper is one that wrist takeaway for sure. Okay, number two, when they get to the top, because it's such an arms dominated swing, it's gonna be an arms dominated swing throughout, right? So on the way down, you're thinking chopping at it like an ax. You brought your shovel to the driving yeah. range today, not your broom, right? So it's gonna be really wristy out of the gate, arms dominated at the top, coming down very, very steep. Chris just happens to be a really good golfer. Tough to be bad. I'm trying to exaggerate that <laughs> over the top. It's gonna ruin your golf swing. <laughs> <laughs> Ideally, you're thinking like you're not using your waist, your bottom half at all. Yes. Yes, there we go. There's a little bit more slice, more of a cut. Nice swing, but I, uh, the big thing here is that even though he's hitting it rather well, there's no power behind that, no. right? There's no power. It's just coming off of the club face, how it's coming off the club face. There is probably 30 to 40% more distance in that swing. Mm -hmm. Pretty fair to say. Now let's see what it sounds like when you hit it normally. And then we'll start talking about some of the ways to address an over the top swing. I'm gonna try to hit straight one, not really draw it. That's actually probably better over top. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what I noticed there, one is just the sound of the ball coming off the club. There's more connection to the ground. So all of that energy being transferred through the club head, it's just a faster swing after impact. Yeah. And that's the key. We always want the swing speed to be post impact, not trying to get to the ball as fast as possible. Yeah. And I'm gonna really try to exaggerate, kind of <laughs> almost. Give me the biggest really over the top like you got. Right shoulder is turning down. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just a good swing. <laughs> I'll be the demo. Okay. My turn to be a little bit more of an over the topper, <laughs> as I tend to be because I do hit it from a, a little bit of a cut angle. Yeah. So if I was an over the topper, most likely I'm going to have early extension toward the ball as well. Again, that wristy motion is going to look kind of like this. If you notice yourself in your swing videos, just rolling your wrist over that club face wide open, yeah. you might see that head come down. You might even see it come up. Mm -hmm. right? Like I said, because you have disassociate, you don't have disassociation of upper and lower body, right. then the whole body is just going to move as one and you're not going to be able to have that smooth swing that most of the pros have yeah. it look like, right? So they're generating power from a, a sense of smoothness. And uh, these guys, you know, local amateurs, normal amateurs trying to create power from just brute strength. Yeah. So if I was to do the roll, and then I would really become an inside out. And again, that's super over exaggerated. It doesn't always look like that. Mm -hmm. But the key is I'm not using my lower body at all. Mm -hmm. It's all upper body dominant. <laughs> I can't, it's hard, it is hard to do that. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, that's good. That's more of an example of yeah. what we're looking at here. So an over the top could easily produce one of those, but it could also produce a swing like you had, where maybe two or three out of 10, mm -hmm. I have a really good swing and then Maybe I'm looking at a shot I don't normally hit and hit something like that. But for over the top, again, if I'm really upper body dominant and I'm throwing my right hand at it, hang on, let's do one. So that actually, those back to back shots would be perfect examples of like something that you'd hate to see mm -hmm. and something you'd be okay with. Yeah. Right? So two out of 10, I'm gonna hit one like that. 
where it's, it's going to work out. But again, no power at all behind right. that. Whereas when I actually load up and get one with my lower body, it might even go right, but it's going to be completely different sound. You know, even a little bit of a push, right? But mm -hmm. the sound is just different yeah. when you lose, use your lower body. Okay. So some of the ways that I would have somebody fix an over the top type of swing. One, I got to get their arms connected more to their body. If your arms are not connected to your body during the swing, what's going to happen is those arms will become dominant if that's all you know. So we got to work on that first. So like to over exaggerate by grabbing something heavier than a golf club. It could be a medicine ball. It could be a weighted club, something like that. But for this example, well, all I want you to do is throw that ball in your backswing to me. Perfect. There's no way to do that without turning your shoulders. Right. Does that make sense? So write down that, perfect. So write down that uh, alignment stick line. You're just trying to throw it right to my chest. Perfect. Now, if you were to get wristy, give me an example of like wristy inside. So I'm gonna notice spin on the ball, mm -hmm. one. And if that alignment stick wasn't there, you might even hit me on my right. Something like that, yeah. where those shoulders are not turning with with your arms. It's not a, it's not a smooth take back. So try that good way. So like no spin, no spin. right to me, dead mm -hmm. straight. Okay. So now when I would what I would do from there, now that you've felt just the first two to three feet of the of the backswing, you can cross your arms, hitting the golf swing, cross the arms, and then go to the back the top of your backswing. Perfect. Now what you'd want to notice here is is your head change in levels. Okay, so okay. try again. So normal golf stance, I would check where your head level's at and then make that golf swing, backswing. So you did come off the line just a tiny bit. A lot of it. <laughs> feel that pressure, just maintain pressure there mm -hmm. and take, make the backswing. Yeah, there you go. Now you might feel some tightness maybe in your hip. Right here. Yep, yeah. exactly, sure. So if you're feeling that tightness when you have an instructor holding your head and saying, okay, this is your posture line. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's okay to move a little bit off it. I can feel a little bit, but if you were not, you know, if you're coming off of it super and I'm telling you to push and you go into that backswing and you feel tightness in your QL lat, that's something to address with a massage tool, yeah. a peanut, um, a lacrosse ball, foam roller, something like that. We want to work all those things out because your body's naturally going to compensate away from it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so try it again. So just to the top of the backswing. Perfect. Now, those I two. I really feel that right <laughs> in here. I got yes. stretch. Yep. Perfect. Now, so those two things, those two ways to address an over the top swing, we're addressing disassociation because I'm not going to have you like, everything's not going to be able to turn mm -hmm. as one. Your arms are not in the equation. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to try to have you work on that first two feet of turning the shoulders and then the full back swing with just the shoulders. Mm -hmm. Now you can pick up a golf club and attempt to go hit a ball with that feel and see if it feels any different. Nice. Very nice. So we covered how to talk about very common things that will take place in a golf swing. Uh, main thing is I want people to understand that these things can be fixed without a coach. Mm -hmm. um, you don't need to have somebody watching you, but it is very tough to be unbiased about the things that you feel and that you're seeing in your own video. Right. Um, so take these cues, work on it yourself, um, and if you need help, call somebody. Everybody's willing to help. My name is Justin. My name is Chris. And thanks for watching.